Holzak 007, in today's video, I'm going through a cool application called Write. Write is a cool and new look to something like a Microsoft Word or Office Word. So what basically does is it takes Word and kind of makes it more minimalistic and it's supposed to help you get things done by having some cool features like a full screen mode. Instead of boring you guys with the website, I'm going to go ahead and just download it and show you guys it um, for real. So if you want to check it out, it is free, but it's currently in beta and it could cost some money afterwards. So if you want to try it out, go ahead and try it now. So I'll have a link in the description below to the website right here. All you'll have to do is press the free download button to get started. After you download it, simply open up the install file, click install, and it will go ahead and install. It shouldn't take too, too long. Once it's done, you can simply press finish and it will fire up the application. Now I had the application installed before. So the cool thing is, is it actually saves drafts and it will load the draft you previously had. So the one I have here is simply the whole Wikipedia page for Google. So it's pretty long, as you can tell, a scroll bar. And I'll be using this article to kind of show you guys some of the features that are built into the right word processing application. So the first question you're asking yourself is, how does it help me get things done faster? As the website says. So I'll show you guys the things that I think personally kind of help with that. Now the first one being is the tab system. Instead of having to create multiple windows, um, you can you just instead create multiple tabs. Now, unfortunately, you can't pull these tabs out and create more windows. You simply just have to create more tabs. But it is a nice and clean way to switch easily between them and get things done quickly. The second thing is the full screen mode. So the application does not have a um, full window mode. Instead, when you press the maximize button, it instead goes full screen. And you'll notice that when you don't move the mouse, it actually everything will disappear and it will simply show just the text. So, I, so if I switch over to the tab with all the information here and then don't move the mouse, you can see that everything's gone away and now it's just the words. So if you're a writer or someone has to get things done, um, this is a nice way to kind of make it a distraction free environment and just get to your writing. Now, one really cool thing about this application is it works really well with resizing. Now, unfortunately, it will not pin itself. So if you take it and pull it against the side of your monitors, it won't do anything. But if you manually adjust it, it adjusts very nicely. As you guys can tell, as I shrink things, the words will shrink over. And if you shrink it to a certain point, it actually will take the tabs and put them over to the side. And then you can simply switch this way. And of course you pull it out and then it will go ahead and resize itself once again. Now, probably my favorite feature or one of my favorite features of this application is the right clicking. So if you right click a word, so for example, the word corporate right here, it basically blurs everything else and just shows the word corporate. What it has done is selected that word and now you can go through and edit it. So you can simply bold it. You can lighten it back up again. You can italicize it, underline it, strike through. And the nice thing is it keeps the menu open the whole time. So you can do these things and see the effect without having to actually like leave the menu. So once you choose something you like, you can simply click somewhere else and then it applies um, successfully. Now you can also right click an area and go to things like different heading titles that are built in, different font colors. And you can also go to the lookup area and I'll do some translations or look it up on Google or Wikipedia for you as well. Now if you bring your mouse over to the top right hand, top left hand corner, you can choose the kind of like Android style menu option here. And what's going to happen is it's going to slide out this new area. And this area is very similar to a generic uh, notepad application section. So under file, we have all the standard things like new document, open, print, um, quit. Um, but one thing this application does have is save as draft, which is kind of a neat thing. Simply, instead of saving it as a document, um, it saves as a draft that only this application can read. So what happens is the next time you open it up, it will simply automatically load that draft for you, and then you can just continue on where you were. Under edit, we have the simple things that would be in edit as well. Um, we also have find, 
and finally looks really nice actually on this application instead of popping out like on like notepad it simply just creates a little space for itself up in the nav bar here and you can go ahead and type in anything you like and it will find the word for you and if the word's somewhere else like lower on the screen so for example if i type in google you can see that if i'm pressing the arrows it will scroll down the page to the next space with google Under the view section, we have some things like the spell, di um, spell checker dictionary. And now the dictionary is pretty impressive on this application. It comes built in with a bunch of different languages, um, everything from Albanian to Czech and Dutch. So there's a lot of really cool applications. And you can go to each individual language and add words for that specific language. And when it spell checks, it spell checks across all the words. So right here, I went ahead and typed in a word. Now I clicked on the little ABC icon and it detects that this is a, not a word in the dictionary. So the cool thing is it'll bring up some English words that are very similar to the words that I've shown. So I can choose one and it will simply adjust it for me. Now the cool thing is, is when you do the spell check, it also spell checks across multiple languages. So as you can tell, all the languages are checked off. And because of that, it will, it will actually search through all these words as well. Now, by default, it will detect what language this is and kind of give you words in the same language. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys is just a settings area. So if you go to the settings area, you have some couple different options. So we have things like the color for the cursor, cursor width, a new paragraph option. So for by default, it is set to um, shift enter to do a new paragraph and then enter for a line break. But you can swap it so that enter just gives you a new paragraph and shift enter does a line break, which is the default. Um, to applications like Word. Under writing tools, we have just simple stuff like autocomplete and the markup application. And in spell checking, we can see um, what languages are selected. And you can even just do a custom list and disable a bunch of languages, which will actually increase the speed of the app. Now, the funny thing I found with the application is it's supposed to be a productivity application, but yet you can go to the bottom here and actually tweet something really quickly, which I, I thought kind of funny. But besides that, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. So like I said, Write is a very cool application, very minimalistic, and it's a great way to get down to work and get things done because it's full screen mode. Besides that, though, guys, I want to see what your opinions are on its application. So go ahead, download it, try it out. It is free. Then go ahead, and if you download it and try it out, go in the description, the comment section below, and write what you think. Um, would you like it? Will you use it ever again? And just write what your opinion is. Me, personally, I can see a world where this is useful when you're writing simple documents for homework or things where you really want to focus. Um, obviously, it does lack some features compared to something like um, Microsoft Office Word, um, but it is much better than something like Notepad. So I find it's in a happy medium between the two where you don't need a lot of features, but you need some, and it's nice looking. And um, like I said, guys, it is a great application that you should definitely check out if you're into writing a lot of stories or just homework or just want to write distracted free. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, leave your opinion in the comments section below and subscribe for more videos. This is Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.